5,200 people in the studio. Magandang hapon, Pilipinas at buong mundo. Naitay ka puso. Peran po ng 20 minutes ng inyong hapon. Ako po si Boy and welcome to Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Sa lahat po ng nanonood sa ating mga live streaming channels sa YouTube, Facebook, at sa lahat ng nakikinig po sa DZWB, welcome to the program. Umpisan po natin ang ating programa with for today's talk. Si Luis Manzano po at ang kanyang momski na si Vilma Santos Recto at kapatid na si Ryan Christian Recto ang aking mga panauhin sa unang episode po ng aming limited talk special na My Mother, My Story. We shot the episode kahapon po sa Lipa, Batangas. Ang napakagandang Lipa, Batangas. Uh, the special focuses on the life of Luis bilang isang anak na ipinanganak sa mundo kung saan pagmamayari ang kanyang ina ng publiko. Vilma calls herself, I quote, a public property, end of quote. Pero may mga pangangailangan din si Luis bilang isang anak. At kung paano niya hinarap at tinanggap yun, yan ang inyong mapapanood po sa My Mother, My Story. Napakaganda po, napakaraming sorpresa ang nangyari doon sa aming uh, kwentuhan Uh, kasama po si Luis, Ryan Christian, at of course, the one and the only, Miss Vilma Santos. Abangan niyo po yan, ang My Mother, My Story, ngayong Mother's Day, May 12, alas 3.15, tama, ng hapon dito po sa GNN. Yes! Yes! Thank you! Samantala, sinintensyahan po ng reclusion uh, o reclusion, perpetua o habang buhay, na pagkakakulong uh, ng Tagig Regional Trial Court ang mga nanakit kay Vuong Navarro na sina Cedric Lee, Denise Cornejo, Ferdinand Guerrero at Simeon Raz. Kaninang umaga po yan naganap. Hinatulan sila na guilty beyond reasonable doubt ng korte para sa krimeng serious illegal detention for ransom. Kaugnay sa pagdidetain, pambubugbog at pananakot nila kay Vong sa isang condominium unit sa tagig noong January 22, 2014. Dumalo sa promulgation kanina sa Nakorneho at Raz. Pagkabasa ng hatol ay hindi na sila pinaalis ng korte at agad na inutos ang kanilang pagkakakulong. Naglabas naman ang warrant of arrest. Ang korte para kina Cedric Lee at Guerrero at agad din kinansila ang bail bond ng mga akusado. Matatandaan na noong July 2018 ay hinatulan din ang guilty sina Cedric at Denise para sa kasong grave coercion kay Vong. March 13 naman last year, binasura ng Korte Suprema ang kasong rape at acts of lasciviousness na sinampa ni Denise laban kay Vong. Kanina sa It's Showtime, nagpasalamat si Vong sa lahat ng mga dumamay sa kanya Throughout the whole battle sa, kan uh, sa kanyang legal team, mga kaibigan, uh, mga boss sa ABS-CBN, sa It's Showtime, at lalong-lalong uh, lalong -lalo na po sa kanyang pamilya at asawa na si Tanya. Ayon naman sa pahayag na pinadala sa amin ng legal counsel, ang ating kaibigan uh, ni Vong na si Attorney Alma Malyonga, I quote with this conviction, Vong has found some measure of closure and hopes that He can truly and fully move forward with his life. End of quote. Dagdag pa ni Atty. Alma, uh, Vong's journey to justice has been a roller coaster ride. Pero sa kabila nito, he fought for his truth. He chose to persevere, and today, justice has been served. Uh, Naalala ko lamang po uh, na itay kapuso. I had the privilege of doing the very first interview. Pagkatapos po naganap ito, I remember I also did a docu-interview uh, covering the whole case. Kaya, uh, yun po, ang, maraming salamat po sa inyong tiwala. Samantala, uh, balik po tayo dito sa Fast Talk at uh, nakakatuwa po dahil ang ating bisita ay, I don't know, she doesn't age, she's just as beautiful as uh, she were when I, I last saw her. Uh, she's probably what? Uh, let's talk about later. Naitay Kapuso, please welcome Maxine Magalona. Thank you very much, Maxine. Kumusta? Okay, Tito Boy. I'm so happy to be here. You're looking so... very good. Oh, Have we had formal interviews in the past? Before. We did, uh, di ba? Yes, yes, yes. I before. know, I know. But you know what? You haven't changed. And this is oh. not bola or, you know. Oh, 
Uh, Galing, how, how, how are you doing it? I mean, ah, ganda. My, my secret, I would say, is the meditation. Magaling, no? Yes, yes. Meditation and hindi mahirap. Hin uh, Siyempre, at the start. Anything that we do at the beginning, mahirap, nakaka-intimidate, tapos feeling natin, parang walang nangyayari. Pero the meditation, the more you do it, the more you practice it consistently, it really calms you every day and it regulates your nervous system. Kaya it keeps you in a more calm and peaceful state. We'll talk more about that. Interesting. Yes. Dahil sinubukan ko yun. Hmm. Uh, for a while, pero tama ka in the beginning, hindi ko masyadong maintindihan. Yes. Pero kumusta ka? And yes. how is that feeling coming back to, I mean, you know, na, bumisita ka ngayon dito ah. sa GMA7. <laughs> When was the last time you were here? And tell us a story. Yun nga eh. Um, coming back here, being here brings back so many beautiful memories. I grew up in GMA with so many different shows na ginawa ko. So coming back here is like revisiting my past. Right. And making peace with my past, you know. Mm. So that's why I'm very grateful that you invited me here, so that I can remember everything that I've been through, everything that I went through to get to where I am today. Kaya it feels so great to be back here. Thank And you. And talking about the memories, ano yung top of mind <laughs> na naalala mo nung uh, pumapasok ka dito sa Gym ah, A7? Okay, I remember being this immature and childish young lady who would go to the mga noon time shows. Still a little bit hungover from the night before. <laughs> <laughs> so, ganun yung mga memories ko. Siyempre, I grew up in the industry kasi. So, Tama. talagang, um, I started out really young and really early. So um, How old were you when you started? I started at seven years old. Okay. But then, um, nagbalik ako dito sa G... Nag-start ako sa Kabila. Okay. And then, bumalik ako dito sa GMA to do Five and Up. If you remember that show, it's Which a magic... Cheche. Yes, yes. Of course. Five it was up. produced I... by Probe. Yes, I uh -huh. did that. At the age of nine, and then at. Sino ka sa bayan mo dun? Atom Araulio, China Ortaleza. Oh, oh. So yun yung mga nakasama ko sa Five and Up, and then after that, um, fifteen years old, Daddy Dido do tuloy tuloy na. Oh my yes, God! Yes, oh, yes, pero gusto yeah. ko yung uh, last time show eh, my hangover. <laughs> pero lahat pinagdadaanan. And yes. you, when you look back, it's nice to look back smiling. Yes. Napa lang pinagdaanan yes. ko yun, di ba? Exactly. Kasi ang uh, tutunan ko is when you are able to talk about your past and it doesn't bring up that emotional charge anymore of feeling shame, of uh, feeling ashamed or embarrassed. It means that you've already learned the lesson and that you've grown from the experience. Kaya it doesn't really make you cringe or make you feel awkward. I laugh about it. Yeah. And I see that that was just the younger version of me. And I'm proud of her because she brought me here. <laughs> ang ganda. Uh, that, that means also that you've dealt with it. Mm. At saka ang pinaka-importante sa lahat, my experience, Aman, when you go, when you look back, yes. you recognize yourself. Yes. Hindi yung, uh, you know, I would hear some friends na sasabihin, hindi ko kilala yun. Hindi, that was you yes. when I was immature, when I was young. Yes. And look at where I am today. Exactly. And being able to see that. that and celebrate. And celebrate it, it means you are at peace. Tama. And that's the most beautiful feeling to have. Totoo yun. Mm -hmm. Totoo yun. So again, yung, ako naman ang natututuhanan ko, <laughs> listening to your story, is that, yeah, let's not deny that. We had we had those times, mm -hmm. but that was me. Yes. You know, and then I evolved yes. to become a better person, to become happier, to be more yes. adventurous, to be more... Yes. And the journey continues. Exactly. And Galing. the more you accept your past, the more it makes you stronger. Because it doesn't have power over you anymore. Ganda. Yeah. Oh, oh, it yeah. loses that power. Yeah. Sa lahat ng mga palabas na ginawa mo dito sa GMA7, ano yung, ano, ano yung, what's closer, what do you miss mm -hmm. most? Kung aagawin mo ang lahat sa akin, Bakit? with me and Glyza De Castro okay. and Rich Asuncion. Kasi doon nabuo yung friendship naming tatlo and we became really good best friends kaming tatlo. So bringing back those memories, I remember working and being with your friends and just, you know, um, nakakatawa kasi kami ni Glyza, naging best friends, pero sa show nagsasampalan kami. <laughs> I just love it. I love working and um, being with your friends at the same time. It makes okay. it feel like it's not work. Yeah. Oh, oh. Pa paano yun? Paano yun? Halimbawa, your best friends in real life. Yeah. And then, di ba, sinasabi ng director, ito, yes. dito. Uh, 
Uh, sorry for the word, it's a very strong word. Kira mumuhi ang yung isat isa. Yes. That's tough, di ba? So tough. Do you talk uh, to each other? Yes. Na, na guys, ha, ha, ganito ha. Oh, pinaplano na namin kung ano yung mga gagawin, okay lang ba ganito. And then magsasampalan, magre-rehearse. Syempre sa rehearsal wala pa muna yung sampalan. Oh, oh. Pag take nagsampalan na pagkatapos nagtatakbuhan towards each other to hug each other. That's true. Ganun palagi. <laughs> yeah. Okay, dito walang sampalan. But we're going to do fast talk. <laughs> and we have two minutes to do this, uh, Max, and then uh, I've seen we have two minutes to do this and our time begins now. Cold summer nights or hot summer body? Cold summer nights. Level of your hotness, ilang degrees? 101%. Yeah, that's my girl. Swimwear, <laughs> sportswear? Swimwear. Breathe in or breathe out? Breathe out. Kalma, kalma o kaldag? Kalma. Yoga or yogurt? <laughs> yoga! <laughs> Boat ride or motorcycle ride? Boat ride. Rap ballad? Rap ba- rap, rap. Bashers, gate crashers? Ah, uh, gate crashers. <laughs> Mas gusto ko pa yun, yeah? Bagay na lagi mong dala? <laughs> my cell phone. Bagay na lagi mong nawawala? Uh, my self-respect. Tsara! Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> joke lang, joke lang. Bagay na palagi ko nawawala, ano ba? Siguro may, hair, may, may ano, ponytail. Palagi. Okay. Guilty or not guilty? Nag-walk out sa date? Guilty. <laughs> guilty or not guilty? Nagwalwal sa bar. Oh my God, guilty. <laughs> <laughs> guilty or not guilty? Tumakas kay mommy. Guilty, sorry mommy, I love you. <laughs> guilty or not guilty? Nagkating classes. Guilty. Guilty or not guilty? Affected ng uh, bashers. Guilty. Your favorite uh, Francis M. song. Ah, uh, Girl Be Mine. Your favorite Francis M. movie. <gasps> Baguettes. Sa mga kapatid mo, who's your partner in crime? Ah, minsan si Frank, minsan si Sab. Lagi mong katalo. Ah, si Sab! <laughs> Lagi mong kabanding. Si Frank. Pinaka-uga- pinaka-kaugali Frank mo. Frank and Elmo. Si Elmo, kaugali ko yan. To love or to be loved? To love. Others first or self? Self. Move on or move in? Move on. Lights on or lights off? Lights off. Happiness or chocolate? Chocolate. <laughs> Best time for happy chocolates. All day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> Complete this. I find peace in. I find peace in accepting who I am. It's a journey, yes. but it happens. Yes, yes. What do you miss most about your dad? That's number one. Mm. And then uh, I'd like to find out. Ito, this is a general question. Uh, coming from experience or the experience of your other friends. Possibly pa talaga, Maxine, maghiwalay ang dalawa na hindi nag-aaway. That's number one. And then, um, how are you with your exes? I mean, do you actually talk to them? Do you have... And how do you move on? Okay. Ang mga kasagutan po sa pagbabalik ng Fast Talk with Boy. <laughs> Back to the show, kasama pa rin po natin, Maxine Magalona. Mm. Uh, we miss your dad. How much do you miss your dad? So much. Sobra, no? Sobra, lalo na the kind of person that he was. Nakaka-miss talaga siya. Eh. Totoo. Yes, yes. Wonderful, beautiful human being. Thank you. At saka sabi ko, ang bilis ng panahon, hindi natin, ako, hindi ko okay. napansin, 15 years na pala. Tagal. Di ba? So, tagal na. Uh, w- w- what, what's your favorite memory of Kiko? Okay, my favorite memory is when he would pick me up from school in Katipunan and we would drive going back to Antipolo, just the two of us. Kasi doon siya magbibigay sa akin ng mga tidbits and mga nuggets of wisdom. Galing. Pag pauwi, like he would talk to me about uh, yung trabaho namin, that we shouldn't look down on other people just because we're appearing on television. He made sure na naintindihan ko yun, that we were not... Uh, more special or more important na lahat tayo pantay-pantay. And this is what he would sing about in Kaleidoscope World, right? It's such a beautiful song that yes. he left us with, right? Yeah, I know. And many other songs. Yeah. A daughter remembering the father. Ako naman, mm-hmm. dahil kaibigan ko yung uh, dad mo, parang maraming pag-uusap, maraming mga interviews. Hi, P.I. if you're watching, your mom. Yes. Um, but katulad yan ang sabi ng isang dakilang poetess, si Maya Angelou, sometimes 
You don't even remember what people say, but you as a daughter, yes. you remember. You don't remember what people do, yes. but you remember how they make you feel. Oh my goodness, Tito Boy, this is such a full circle moment because this is one of the things my dad said to me. Diba? You will never. Uh, people will not f remember what you said or what you did, but they will always remember how you made them feel. Uh -oh. And that's what he said to me. And that's exactly how I remember. Uh, ito yung paraan kung paano ko naalala si Francis, mm -hmm. Kiko. Naalala ko that every time, you look forward to talking to him. Yeah. You look forward to be in his company. Yeah. You look forward to be in the same room with him. Yeah. Because he was such a beautiful, beautiful human being. He has that energy where he allows you to be yourself. Totoo. And he holds space for you like At saka that. At that sense of not being judged. Yes. Ang, yes. ang sarap ng pakiramdam, di ba? Yes, yes. When you can stand there yes. as who you are. Exactly. And I know that my dad gives that energy to other people because he knows the feeling of being judged. Tama. He knows the feeling of being looked at and pointed for your flaws. But then he wants to be that person that I'm not going to judge you. Because I want to make you feel what it's like not to be judged. Let's talk about excess. Mm. Pa paano? Uh, wh what is your take on it? Possibly ba talaga maghiwalay ang dalawang tao na walang away? Y yes. Possibly? Yes, yes. Lalo na nga yung mga hindi na nag -aaway. Yun it comes yung, to that point, no? It comes to that point where maybe you guys are just not able to say it to each other. Hindi alam kung paano magsisimula na it's not working out anymore. Hindi na pinag-uusapan. Oh. So ang nangyayari, they end up not having that deep communication or connection anymore. And then they cheat on the side. Okay. But they stay in that relationship. Right. So it's better, I think, that if hindi na kayo nag there's no more fire. One of you has to really be honest. Initiate the conversation. Initiate and 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 because we don't want to waste any more time, de ba? Tama. Especially when it comes to love and relationships, we we don't expect to get it right right away. Okay. But we want as much as possible not to waste any time or energy. Can you be friends with your ex? Of course, especially if the connection was really good and special. But in respect, uh, out of respect for your current partner, Tama. I wouldn't want to be friends with my ex, you know? Okay, and I respect that. Yeah. At ang hirap din na hindi kayo pwedeng maging magkaibigan or at least, you know, acquaintances again yeah. is because at tagal ninyo, whatever the time yes. uh, frame involved was, pareho kayo nang iniikutan eh. Yes. Oh, you have yes. the same friends, you saw yes. the same people, Yes, but for me, it, when it comes to excess, I can be civil. And I will say hi, and I will be cordial and respectful because that's a human being, pareh. Eh. You know, Tama. even if hindi kayo nag-end on good terms or it didn't work out, you still have to respect that that person is just like you. You know, pareho lang kayo na hindi kayo perfect, hindi kayo. <laughs> and it's coming from a point of view also. Yes, yes. Tiba, yes. it's coming from a point of view. Pinakamahalagang leksyon na natutunan, um, lalo na pagdating sa pag-ibig. Pagdating sa pag-ibig, don't ever lose yourself. Don't lose yourself loving someone else because at the end of the day, you are only able to love others as deep as you love yourself. So if you end up pleasing the other person while betraying yourself, that's not love. Correct. It's pleasing the other person so okay. that you feel validated. Just to use the word, huwag magwawalwal sa pag-ibig. <laughs> Wag magwawala ang sarili. Tama. Diba? Para wag magwawala. But since thank you very thank much. You, thank you for dropping by. Thank you, Tito Maraming boy. maraming salamat. Looking thank forward you. to our next one. Thank you, Tito uh, Boy. Thank you. <laughs> Night ay kapuso. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pag uh, papatuloy sa amin sa inyong mga tahanan at puso. Uh, stay kind and uh, say thank you. Make your nana and tare proud. Let's support Maxine. Yay. And let's do one good thing a day and make this world a better place. Goodbye for now and God bless. Voice on, Thank you.